Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can adjust the height of columns and the width of rows in tables in Word by using the mouse. To do this, place your mouse pointer over the border of the column or row to adjust until the mouse pointer turns into a double line with an intersecting arrow. At that point, then click and drag to adjust the column width or row height. Additionally, you can also use the commands that appear in the Cell Size button group on the table's Layout Contextual tab in the ribbon to set the size of the columns and rows in your table. To do this, first select the cells whose width or height you wish to adjust. Then use the Height and Width spinner boxes to set the height and the width of the selected cells. You can also use the Auto Fit button to apply automatic adjustments to selected cells. To do this, first select the cells to automatically adjust. Then click the Auto Fit button in the Cell Size button group on the Tables Layout Contextual tab in the ribbon. Then select the method of adjustment to apply, Auto Fit Contents, which resizes the cells to fit their content, Auto Fit Window, which stretches the table across the page to fit the window, or Fixed Column Width, which lets you set the widths of the columns by hand using the techniques you just learned. Another way to adjust row height or column width is to equally distribute the spacing allocated to a selection of rows or columns. For example, if you had three adjacent columns of unequal sizes in a table, you could select them and then resize them so each one was the same width over the selected area. To do this, select the columns or rows to evenly distribute. Then click either the Distribute Rows or Distribute Columns button in the Cell Size button group on the table's Layout Contextual tab in the ribbon to distribute the selected columns or rows equally over the selected area. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.